Alright guys, we said it was coming. It's our follow-up video to the boat shooting incident from a couple weeks ago. Holy sh! Stop shooting! If you haven't seen the original video of the incident, that'll be linked in the description below or at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. But we want to touch on a few of the questions, obviously, that we had, but uh, to knock a few of them out, first of all, I mean, it's, it was a crazy scenario, crazy incident, something we never thought would happen, but um, where we were at, we were basically three miles from any landing, and uh, we did not call the authorities. Just on, based on how it all worked out and how it all happened, I mean, it was something totally out of the blue, totally caught us off guard. We didn't know what to expect or what was really going on. And uh, the guy never showed his face. So as much as we called out to him, um, he answered us once, but we really did not know where he was located. And it's, looking back on it, yeah, we probably should have called it in. But we didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's one thing too when you're in a boat. You have nowhere to run. You have nowhere to go to. Yeah, but we just wanted to get out of there yeah. for the most part. We didn't know if he was going to shoot again or what he was going to do or where he went. So Yeah, and it's in that situation, it's hard with confrontation too because, I mean, obviously if that person has a gun, we don't, we don't know what's going on. But what it all boils down to in this whole grand scheme of things is, schemes of things is you have a major responsibility running a firearm and the guns aren't the issue it's the person behind the trigger so when you're pulling that trigger you have to know your target of gun. it's it's pretty basic it's common sense but still it's something that's very important in the woods and when you're hunting and when you're operating a firearm i think that kind of answers most of the questions it's pretty basic straight up i mean was i mean as far as the damage on your bolt Limited, yeah. yeah. Small plastic piece. I mean, I don't need that light cap. You know, it's yeah. No it was, one was hurt. That was the main um, thing. I mean, no major damage to anything or anyone. Definitely had the big guy upstairs watching over us that day. So, but that kind of leads, so that kind of leads us to scenario two, which is uh, getting shot at twice in one year, and uh, obviously you see that in the title. So. This is kind of a, a whole other scenario and why we wanted to stress the importance of knowing your target and beyond because it's happened to these guys twice now in one year. So let these guys kind of take over as far as this next story and uh, we'll go from there. Well, it was last year, last gun season's opening weekend, Sunday morning, and I had already filled my tag and Jake went hunting Sunday morning. I get the call, I shot one, I go out there, we get it out, get in the truck, and we are leaving our hunting area, leaving the parking lot, going down a gravel road, which is marked, it's a marked road, it's not a logging trail. And we can see somebody posting for a deer drive standing on the road. So we just go by real slow, you know, not trying to bother anyone go by her, she's just a young girl, and go around the corner after we could, seconds after we could see her, bam, bullet comes through the back window, and glass is flying everywhere. I duck because I feel something hit my head, and we're both in shock, so, you know, he's looking at me, and we're drifting off off the road because he's trying to see if I'm okay and all I said you know I got hit with something so he takes off we get further down the road Jake checks out everything and we realize that it's just a minor wound and but you did actually you got hit by bullet fragments right yeah but bullet yeah. fragment hit me in the head so we somewhat you know recompose ourselves drove back in there you know minutes later and now there's you know the whole group of hunting people out there, they all know what's going on. Um, and in this scenario, everyone was called. You know, the police, sheriff, game wardens, uh, ambulance Lewis. came out there and checked me out. It was a scary situation, all said and done. Nothing really happened as far as injuries or discipline. 
After talking to the warden, I, they had been warned a few years before for hunting on that same road, no fine. Same thing that happened with me. Very serious situation. Somebody gets hit with a bullet and there's still no fine. So I mean, to us it just kind of felt pointless when it happened to him again. So it's, you know, and a fine's not gonna fix somebody getting hurt, but it definitely is a huge reminder of how careful you need to be because in both of these incidents they were probably the most preventable things that could have happened. You don't shoot towards water where there's bolts and you don't shoot down roads. I mean it's it's common sense but some people don't think that deep into it and there's not enough blaze orange in the world that would have protected us in either of these situations. And you can see by the picture that from Jake, from Jake's truck, where the bullet entered, and uh, it's, it's scary. Know, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm getting a little shaky talking about it because uh, I went through it, and it was, uh, you know, that that close to being uh, deadly. Honestly, luckily you had your hood up and your hat, your winter hat on, to help and stop facing forward. Thankful that was all it was, but uh, it shouldn't even have been that is the issue. It's not worth it to be shooting at a deer or a squirrel or even a big buck or whatever if you know that it's going to hurt somebody because that lasts with you for a lifetime right. and it's not a good thing to last for a lifetime like a good memory it's a terrible memory so yeah I mean it's you know like the other thing too we didn't mention and you can't tell in the video the original video from um, the boat incident was there was actually people partying on the sandbar about a hundred yards behind us and you know that ricochet of that bullet could have caused even more damage. I mean, it ricocheted off Jake's bow. Where did it go? So you're talking even more damage that it could have been even worse. So thankful that both of these situations came out, you know, as as they did. Like Alex said, a fine isn't going to do anything. But this right here, a video like this that you share with people, as far as your own responsibility and you being smart with firearm. That's the key. Yeah, because it's one click and uh, that bullet's off. And hunt season's just around the corner here. Yeah, yeah, something to be excited hopefully about. Hopefully this is a good reminder. We hope that we don't need to talk about this kind of stuff yeah. or live yeah. through these moments again and uh, that we all can enjoy the good things about hunting. Right. And accidents do happen. I mean, it's totally part of life, but it's... But you can prevent a lot of them. Right just with a little self-discipline. and I think that we set our piece, we kind of gave the update we wanted to with the follow-up. Yeah, and I'm actually wearing the uh, sweatshirt oh, yeah. that, uh, that the bullet went into, so maybe I can show the camera sure. yeah. if it can focus on it. But uh, right here I had my hood up and that's where it went in. That's where it went through there and grazed me right above the ear. That's how close it was, so. So there's the two incidents. Now we're moving on, looking forward to uh, hunting. Some good memories in the woods. That's right. So we're transitioning from uh, muskie season to uh, bow season. Filming some hunts coming up with that. That'll be coming up. Um, then uh, we got ice fishing coming up. So we got plans as far as like what we want to film, but what are we doing the rest of the day? Yeah, we just got our new white tail adrenaline videos. So well, that's getting us, gonna get us pumped up for bowl season and uh, get out in the woods, have some fun, chase some deer. You know. Outdoor world never stops. Well, more sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Alright, that's it for this week guys. Stay safe out there and enjoy the outdoors. Mm -hmm.